R.I.P. to, well, we'll start out with this. Bill Buckner, uh, famous for the error, but really should be famous for being an absolutely fantastic baseball player. The guy was incredible. You go back and look at his stats. You, you look at the fact that he never struck out. It, obviously, everybody had struck, out, or had struck out, but you get the point. He rarely struck out. And for him to be known for one play in a World Series game, it just lets you know how big those moments are. But it's also kind of sad because the guy was a great player. Absolute great player. So uh, best wishes to Bill Buckner's family. Bart Starr passed over the weekend. Uh, Super Bowl number one and number two, which at the time they weren't actually called the Super Bowl. They were the AFL-NFL championship games. Um, yeah, Bart Starr, he was getting older. He had been around the Packers. He had been around Alabama. But the uh, the MVP of the first two Super Bowls for the Packers, he was a uh, great humanitarian, and it, he was always – he seemed like the happiest guy in the world all the time. Just felt lucky to be around, and hopefully that's how people remember him. He was a great player. Obviously, I didn't get to watch him, but I have watched uh, the footage of those old games, and he was outstanding, absolutely outstanding. So uh, best wishes uh, to Bart Starr's family. And finally, Rod Bramblett, uh, Auburn voice, and uh, the radio announcer for the Auburn Tigers basketball and football. Uh, I wasn't sure how to feel about this, right? Because for a long time, I could not stand listening to Rod Bramlett. The, the kick six call, me being an Alabama fan, born and raised an Alabama fan, hearing him call games drove me nuts because when I would hear the calls, that meant that Auburn was doing something good. And it was typically against Alabama. But you can't deny the fact that he was great at what he did. So I respected his ability to do that job and to do it in a way that that really made him a legend. I, nobody will ever be able to forget, you know, they're not going to keep him off the field tonight. Oh, there goes Davis. You know, it. oh, it's a, a miracle in Jordan Hare. Uh, all of these, right? He got to call a national championship for football. He got to call a Final Four for basketball. Uh, it is tragic the way that that went down. Uh, we don't know the specifics. I don't believe yet. It sounds like a 16-year-old that was playing on a cell phone while he was driving. And it just kind of gives you an idea of, exactly how short life is, and, you know, t take every moment, uh, uh, take it seriously, right? So t don't take it for granted. Uh, appreciate everything you got. So uh, Rod Bramlett and his wife, Paula, they, they had two kids. There's a fundraiser going on on Twitter. Uh, you can find it pretty much anywhere. I know Barrett Salee. Uh, on Twitter, at Barrett Salee has, uh, has posted it. I'll go and try and retweet it somewhere. I should have done that before. But um, but they're raising funds for their two kids, and they're not, they're not fully older as of yet, but uh, they can use any kind of help that they can get. So uh, rest in peace, Rod Bramblett. You were fantastic at what you did. I hated you for it, but, uh, but I love your family, and I hope the Auburn family is, is doing okay today because this one will sting for a while. Uh, 